Humphrey. Good morning. It doesn't seem like May weather. It seems like October weather. But um, hopefully it'll be warmer next week. Because it's not going to be warmer this week. Um, I am happy to introduce Janet Dye, who comes every year with the Rotarians to do this presentation for you. I know many of you did some essays, and we will be announcing that winner today as well. So Janet is going to um, let you know a little bit about the Rotary Club and why they're presenting these thesauruses to you today. Good morning. It's good to see all of you, including some teachers that I used to work with when I worked here as a teacher. Um, we are here, as, as Mrs. Kirk said, to um, announce the essay winners for those of you who wrote an essay about a good deed that you have done. And also, I want to introduce the other Rotarians that are here with me this morning. We have Mr. Lee, and he's going to be telling you a little bit here. You can just nod, that's okay. He's going to be telling you about um, shelters that Rotary does and clean water. And we have Mrs. Smith. And just about to, these people have been here before. And the person that's videotaping this is Mr. Lindy, and he works for the Brockton Cable TV. So I think he's got arrangements with the local cable TV. So this might, you might be able to see yourself on TV. And then his wife is here also. This is Lindy, wherever she is. Where is she? There she is. Yeah. So we're really happy to be here this morning. And before we, we uh, I tell you the essay winners, and we pass out, we know we're going to give you some thesauruses today. Um, I just, I'm curious, if you all use thesauruses, right? Yes. You know what they are? Yes. Well, who knows what they are? Raise your hand. A thesaurus is like, it tells you the synonyms of what? Of the words. So can you give an example? Like if there was a house, what would the word be? Um, a house is like a shelter for that someone lives in. So it's a great book for writing, isn't it? Give you bigger words. Yeah, thank you. All right. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rotar Rotary Rotarians. It's an international service group, and there are Rotarians all over the world. There are Rotarians in China, there are Rotarians in India, there are Rotarians in South Africa, there are Rotarians in South America, in Guatemala, all over the world in the United States. And um, so we're gonna, and we do a lot of service projects and we have certain focuses. So um, Mr. Lee is gonna tell you a little bit about what, what Rotarians do um, with shelters for people and clean water. Thank you, Janet. Well, I'm going to talk uh, just a little bit about some of the international pro service projects that we do. One of them is our Shelter Box project. We team up with a nonprofit organization called Shelter Box, which puts together in a small package things that people need after a disaster. So volcanoes, floods, hurricanes, earthquakes. We determine what they need, and they need things beyond clean water and food. They need some place to stay, so that includes tents. It needs ways to cook the food, so it includes pots and pans and utensils and a stove. It, it includes beds, and it also includes water storage and purification, so people can live on their own in these uh, earthquake hit, hit, hit uh, hit areas, hurricane hit areas, flood prone areas. So imagine yourself, you've, your house is destroyed, you have nowhere to go, you would love to have one of these boxes that sets up as a shelter. Your mother can cook, your father can cook for you, you can get clean water, and you can sleep comfortably. The second project that we also do internationally is our clean water project. It supplies sustainable, that means people locally can maintain it and keep it going, water projects so that they can have clean water 
and sanitation, because sanitation, poor sanitation causes disease and has helped people die and we don't want that. So we've already helped 22 million people in the world with clean water and sanitation. 22 million. That's more than in the state of New York. That's a lot of people. We plan to have this finished by the year 2030. Everyone in the world who doesn't have clean water right now and proper sanitation should be taken care of by that date. That's only 13 years away. You'll be adults, but you can help along the way. Thank you very much. And Mr. Rick Peter, now he is going to tell us a little bit more about what Rotary needs to do. Hi, how you doing? It's great to see you all again. Um, Rotary is a club of women and men who come together every week to have fun and fellowship and to support service projects like giving all of you the Sorai today and giving dictionaries to the third graders in East Bridgewater and West Bridgewater. We also provide scholarships to graduated seniors from Bridgewater Raynham High School and the other four public high schools serving the Bridgewaters. We support the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, and many other organizations serving children and adults. And we also are doing some new projects to help veterans of the United States military. Uh, internationally, our main focus is promoting world understanding and peace. There are 1.2 million Rotarians in over 200 countries in 34,000 clubs working toward that end. So thank you for letting us be here today, and I'll turn it back over to Mrs. Dye. Thank you. Okay, so next on the agenda, I'm sure you're all waiting to hear who the winners of our essay contest is. We got about 50 essays from all of you, so everyone didn't write an essay, but the ones we got were really interesting. They told a lot, a lot of you have done good deeds in your life, which is really, really good to know. So, our, our number three winner, I'm going, to, I'm going to read a little bit of her essay to you because um, I thought it was really good and it'll tell you more about what, it's, what um, it is. Can I put this here? Does that work? Yes. Do you still hear me? Okay. So, So this student wrote about something that many of you already know about, I think, in your school because um, she wrote about her twin brother and um, he has a speech problem and I know this has been talked about over the years here because I've heard about it before, um, where he was being bullied and they, um, here's some one child in particular said, I'm going to stand up for this young man. And, um, but she wrote about the fact that this was standing up for this boy and I think that people wore suits to events to, to honor him and say, don't bully me. Um, and she said, this one little act of kindness spread a message to kids all across the globe. Because it was on the TV and he was on TV and everything for what the children, you children here had done. Just take a minute to think about how you want to be treated would you want to be bullied and have mulch thrown at you? My guess is would be no. How would you want to be treated? Um, she says, one small act of kindness, and this is so true, can go so far. Please, before you say something or do something, say to yourself, is this how I would want to be treated? And that person who wrote this essay is Emily Keith. Come on up. We had, I, I, I neglected to mention our sponsors. Emily is getting a gift certificate for ice cream at Skinner Sugar House. Janet, you come back. Huh? You need to come right back. I didn't hear you. Oh, yeah, come on up, Emily. I forgot. Come on back up. 
<laughs> we got to do a picture off in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, and this next student that I have here um, wrote an essay about giving food to the food pantry, and she said that every time her family goes to Roach Brothers, they always buy a few extra um, cans of food and put it in the pan for the pantry. She's also donated hair for, for uh, cancer survivors so that they have, can make a wig out of her hair, and uh, she's donated many clothes to Salvation Army and um, Goodwill. And that person is Lil Lily Wilco uh, Lila Wilcox. Lila. Lila Wilcox. <laughs> for Lila, we have a um, gift certificate for miniature golf at Crystal's Pine Grove Park. Right, you can see that it was really hard to decide on these winners because um, they're all they were really really good, all of them, good, good deeds. Um, and the uh, first place winner um, is, is uh, I'm going to read just a little bit of his essay for you. One day I was at a restaurant waiting for a table, and a lot of old people were walking in in wheelchairs, and me and my friend were opening the doors for them for 30 minutes, helping them out. I also helped my aunt in moving her stuff to a new house. There's a lot of heavy stuff, so <laughs> this boy and his dad were lifting um, things and putting them in where they belonged. He also, and this is dear to my heart, has spent a lot of time picking up trash along the road. He said one day they collected five trash bags full of trash so that the animals wouldn't get sick from it. I really like that idea. Um, and um, in the food drive, they were in, he was in the top donating class, so you know whose class he's in now, right? No. Whose class? Who's the top donating class here? Penny. Yeah, this is Penny's class. <laughs> and um, he also, um, one day, he did, this is someone who just notices things that need to be done. He saw a, a guy trying to get a lawnmower in his truck. Said he couldn't do it, it was too heavy. So he and his dad each got on one side of the lawnmower and put it in the truck for the, for the guy who needed help. And he also um, runs for charity sometimes. This person is Jason Kelleher. <laughs> and he has a gift certificate to Salon Esprit. <laughs> It is in East Bridgewater, and you can get your hair cut there, or whatever you want. You can get your nails done if you want. But you get a nice haircut. It was just a joke, a joke, a joke. All right, so now, um, thank you all very much. I think we should take a... Uh, we should have all the Rotarians here. Well, do you want them to stay up there? Um, $25. I can, I can get everybody yeah, on so Come on up. We're just going to have a photo walk briefly, and then we're going to give you your, your thesaurus. Oh, for sure. Congratulations, kids. Good right.
something that all people should live by. If we did, we probably would have peace in this world. And then um, there's a place for your name. So when you get back to your classroom, I want you all to write your name in it right there so that we have so you know which one's yours because obviously there are a whole bunch of you're all the same. So um, be sure to put your name. Okay, so Mrs. Kirk. Pardon me? Oh yes, oh yes. Good thing Mrs. Smith is here to keep me on the ball. There's also a little letter in here to your parents about what Rotary is all about. And I also should tell you that if you're ever interested in being part of a service organization like this, there are high school kids that we give scholarships to to go to, um, a, what is it, a Rotary Act? Is it? Okay, um, that's in, Rotary Youth Leadership Award. Yeah, yeah. That's their sophomores and juniors. Yeah, so Rotary Youth Leadership Award. And we also give scholarships out to high school students who are seniors for service that they've done. So keep that in mind. Remember Rotary. We, they, there's lots of good things that come of it. So and you can participate at a very young age, actually.